Welcome back to Digits here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. That is a live shot of the um, <clears throat> of the stadium where President Obama will be addressing everyone tonight. How many people did watch that speech last night and the night before? We got Keech Hagee of the Marketing and Media Group to tell us all about this. The opening night, 26.2 million, right? Right, that's right. That's the preliminary figure that uh, Nielsen released yesterday mm. for the, the total audience, which uh, very surprisingly was more than four years ago, the mm. cumulative figure from four years ago, and it was more than the Democrat, uh, than the Republicans opening night last week. And, and the mix of who got the audience was somewhat different, wasn't it? Um, Fox absolutely dominated our uh, sister corporation here within News Corporation. They absolutely dominated the Republican convention, didn't do so well. On this one. It, the polarization is really striking. Fox owns the Republicans. MSNBC won among cable last night mm. or on Tuesday night for the first time ever, except for when they have their own debate. Mm. It was a real uh, change, an inflection point in the in sort of the cable rankings. Now, the terrestrial networks, which is the big three, NBC, mm -hmm. uh, and, um, so CBS and ABC, they did pretty well too, right? NBC actually won the opening night of the Democratic Convention. Mm. Uh, maybe somewhat surprising to some people who were seeing cable being ascendant generally mm. in this, uh, but at NBC got five million uh, total viewers. So the five million is a lot. I mean, that that really is really is huge. Now um, we have our own prime time coverage here at WSJ. Um, with with Alan Murray's been doing that this week and la and last week, and we'll continue this evening. Uh, when do we get viewership on online viewing? Because it is becoming a more significant part of the uh, the realm. I have been harassing all the networks about this very thing, and they say basically we can't tell you yet. So I'm dying to get my hands on this data. To, to be it's honest, a, it's a, they, they, maybe they can't tell us because they're a bit scared. Who knows? I mean, I'm po just throwing that out there. It, it's possible. I mean, this is pretty robust. So um, this is interesting because we keep hearing that you know TV audiences are declining, and yet these audiences were absolutely enormous. 26.2 million watched the opening night of the Democratic convention. That was Michelle Obama. Now she's a draw in her own right, but this is a political event. A lot of people are kind of turned off by politics. Well, there's been a lot of talk about this campaign being very negative and people being less mm. interested in it, right? When you have an incumbent in office, generally speaking, the ratings aren't as good. So people were, you know, spending a lot of last week explaining why people don't care about watching debates and, I mean, uh, conventions anymore. And, and now that, that sort of changed. So we'll see. And, and that, that, that is interesting that, I mean, they don't like watching debates, but apparently they do still watch <laughs> them. They might not like it. <laughs> But they watch it. Well, you have to be able to talk around the water cooler the next day, right? So maybe you have to watch it. Well, I, I guess maybe you have to. It's compelling viewing. Now tonight we'll have the pre we had last night we had Bill Clinton. I'm mm -hmm. sure that is expected to have um, big audience there. But he's a very talented speaker. We haven't got those numbers yet. Well, it's going to be messed up because NFL kickoff season kickoff was uh, last night. So this is America. So let's get our priorities right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's foot football. Fo football. Foot football is is really important. And NBC did not carry. Uh, Bill Clinton's speech last night because they had to, to do the okay. NFL. Well, we got some, we got World Stream actually, with some interesting stuff about our coverage here. Let's uh, have a quick uh, look at look at that. Oh. Okay, I guess not. So, so Keach, um, tell us more ab about what we can expect tonight. Um, well, uh, it's an unusual situation in which we have both the vice president and the president speaking on the same night. That hasn't happened since the 90s, um, and it's because of this NFL situation. So um, because of that, there, there may well be a significant viewership, depending mm. upon the draw of Joe Biden. I don't know if people have different opinions about that. Um, so I'm expecting big numbers. We'll see. Okay, we shall see. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Keith Hagee. You can read more on that on WSJ.com.